today is day five and what you're looking at is the face of a very shocked woman because <laughs> I drove through a lot of fuck to get here and then I look There's no fog, absolutely no fog. So we'll see what happens. Lusaka Sakaboy, bienvenidos to day five of my journey. And as I was saying in the intro, I was so shocked because when I left my house, the fog was so thick that I couldn't even see past my car. And you know, when I got to the highway, of course, because there's so many cars at that time of the day, the fog was dispersed. But if you look to the left or to the right to the areas around the highway, you could still see a lot of fog. So when I get out of the highway and I see absolutely no fog whatsoever, and then I am received with the most beautiful sunrise, and I actually went ahead and recorded it for you guys because I was so taken aback after all these days of either rainy or muggy or cloudy to be able to actually record the entire sunrise was just was thrilling for me now as far as the last pictures you're gonna see on this video you're gonna see some of the stuff I ate today but in trying to keep with the accountability the first thing I had in the morning was breakfast cooked by my husband it was eggs bacon and potatoes then I got hungry around 11 30 11 45 and I had a bagel now that bagel that you're gonna see on that picture is from a company that does gluten-free bread and it's it's the perfect texture it just needs a little bit more flavor so next time instead of cream cheese I'll probably use something with a little bit more flavor in it then we went to this place to drink juice. It's called Clean Juice. And I don't know how I feel about the place, but I can tell you that the green juice that I had, I can actually make that at home. And it tastes just as good. But I will give them this. If I'm basing it on the flavor, it was actually, it felt healthy. It felt like really fresh. I've juiced on and off for years. And I can tell you that that felt like something I could have done at home. And that's what I'm going to do because I cannot afford to be going to juice bars all, all the time. But it's a nice place. It's clean. The only thing I didn't like was that um, the girls were not wearing any masks. And that kind of bothers me. Not a little, but a lot. So that might interfere with my enjoyment of that place. Because among other things, they had gluten-free toast for an extra dollar. And I'm willing to pay an extra dollar for some toast. I'm not mad about it. But only if I'm actually in the position to pay for it then after that i think it was three four maybe 5 p.m and i had some calamari with tostones and i forgot to take the pictures for both the breakfast and the tostones sorry but i keep forgetting that i want to take you know i want to do the whole accountability thing with the whole nine yards it, it just it's a lot i'm i'm getting into the spirit of recording everything but because i'm not the kind of person that vlogs I, it, it's a little complicated for me, but I'm getting better. Now, as I'm filming this, it is now 8 o'clock at night, and I am having a salad, which is the last picture you're going to see on the video. And that salad has crab meat, avocados, mangoes, and the spring mix. And it has a drizzle of skinny, skinny chick, I think it is. And I don't remember the name of the... Of the salad dressing but if I remember I'll put a picture right before the picture for the salad so that you guys can see it now we're entering the weekend it's my anniversary weekend and I'm looking very much forward to having some time with my family I am gonna record if I do something and even if I don't do something because the point is to keep myself accountable I am trying to eat better I am trying to remember to drink all my vitamins, my minerals, my supplements, my medicines, and everything else. It's taking a while for me to get used to it. 
one more note i wanted to let you in on i did take the screenshots from both my iphone and the fitbit and as you can tell i already have the 60,000 steps so anything i do between now and saturday midnight will count towards the 70,000 steps and in terms of miles that has been 25 miles that i've walked so far this week i would like to average 30 so we'll see what happens i can tell you that i'm very happy with the progress that i've been making and i'm hopeful that you'll stay here and watch the rest of the journey once again don't forget to let me know what you're doing on your own journey i can't wait to find out thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day